So, we're going to really think about what is a walk, what is a path, and what is a trail. The strength of the diagraph, if I miss that, doesn't really matter. I can do it some other days, but it's really important for you to understand the, what is the definition of walk, what is the definition of path, and what is the definition of trail. All right? Now, I've written there, not only do you need to know that, you need to know what is a close walk, close trail, and a close path. And things like close trail is a circuit, and close, close path is a cycle. Now, next thing you need to know is to be able to use all these terms to describe the roots in a graph. And finally, like I say, if I have time, we'll, un we'll understand the strength of the diagram. This is not as, as important as knowing all the definition of this. All right? So, let's start off with walk. In graph theory, a walk is an alternating sequences of vertices and connecting edges. All right, so a walk, think about as a walk, you go for a walk. You don't have a destination. You go from one point to the other via different points. All right? It can start or end on the same point. Start and end uh, on the same point as in if you go for a walk from your home, go for exercise, go for a job, whatever. A walk, you can walk to the uh, park, you can walk to the shop, and then back to your home. All right? Or it could be finishing at a different vertex as in you start from your home. You probably walk to a cafe to meet your friend, to have a chat, to have a coffee or whatever, and then you start thinking about maybe going to the library to do some work. So you could start from your house to the library via the cafe or via the supermarket if you want to buy something. All right? Now, it could include repeated vertices or repeated edges. So if you go from your house to the library to study, you could be going here and you decided I'll buy some food on the way. All right? So as you, you could have stopped in the supermarket and then walked to a library, and then the library you realize that you didn't buy a drink. You've got to walk back to the supermarket. All right, and buy a drink. And that is like open walk. A walk with starts and finishes at different vertices. You go from your home to your library. Close walk, a walk which starts and finishes at the same vertex. All right, now close walk, you come from your home to the cafe, have a uh, meet your friend, to the library, and back to the cafe to get a coffee, back to the library, and then back home. So that's a close walk. You go from home to anywhere else and then back to home. All right, so the length of the walk is the number of ages of the walk. So walk is like the most general term. You walk around, you go from vertex to vertex, it could repeat, the, vert the vertices could repeat, the edges could repeat, all right? So walk is the most, like, it could be anything. All right, happy with that? You could walk from one vertex to the other and back to the same vertex and so on and so forth. Yeah? Right, that's one. Walk. Let's go to the next one. Oh, actually, the example. So, you need to think about things like a walk. So, sequence of a walk A, B, C, A. That is a considered as a closed walk. Now, you go from A, your home, to the cafe, to the supermarket and back. All right? A, B, C, A. And the length is three because it's one edge, two edge, and three edges. Yeah? Okay? A, E, D, E, A, C, B. So I can go from A, E, D, E, A, C, B. See, I go from here, one, two, three, four, five, six. The length is six because there's six edges. And that is considered as an open walk because you do not finish back at A. Alright? Open walk, A, C, D. A, C, D. You go from your home 
maybe to the cafe and to the library. All right, that is open walk, and that's uh, the length is only two. B C A E D E. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. The length is five. You started from B, but you finish at E. Where's close walk? You go back to the same vertex. Remember, open, you do not finish at, at the same vertex, but close, you always finish at the same vertex. All right, that applies to all walk, path, and trail. Happy with that? Can I move on that? Yeah? All right, the next one. We're going to talk about trail. A trail is a walk with no edges within them. So let's see if this is the room. This is one vertex here, all right? I can go from here to another vertex. And then walk behind Christopher. This is another vertex. Go back there. And then I've gone, gone back to my original walk. All right? So it's a walk with no edges repeated. Open trail, a walk in which no age is repeated and it starts and finishes at different vert vertices. Where's close, close trail? Again, no age is repeated, start and finishes at the same vertex. This is also known as a circuit. Again, the length of the trail is the same as the number of ages, just like a walk. Now, in the trail, a vertex can be visited more than once. However, you cannot repeat the ages. So trail, you can uh, repeat the vertex, but you cannot repeat ages. So you really have to remember the definitions. So we will come to next week where we'll talk about the Eilerian Trail and the Heaven Codin Park. All right, example. So here, you see the same network, a trail, it could be a walk as well. Trail is actually a walk. Walk is the, uh, like, the universal set, if you think about probably the theory, all right, or set theory. So a trail, you can go from A, B, C, A. It is a closed trail because you ended up in A as well. Whereas open trail, it could be an open walk as well. So I go from A to B, C, B, E, A, C. See, I repeated A, but I did not repeat any of the ages. Right? I go from here, A, B. Let me highlight it. I started off with A to B, and then B to C, C to D, C to D, uh, D to E, E to A, A to C. See, I repeated A, but I did not repeat any of the ages, and I ended up from A, I started from A, and I ended up in C. Yeah? So that is actually an open trail. All right, close trail, I go back to the same spot. So I could go from A, B, C, A. See that? A, B, C, back to A. All right? Yeah. Any question before I move on? Now, path. A path is a walk where all the ages and vertices are different. You cannot repeat an edge or a vertex other than the start and the finish. Okay? 
open path, a walk in which no ages and no vertex is repeated. It starts and finishes at different vertices. Whereas for a closed path, closed path, a walk in which no ages and no vertex is repeated, it starts and finishes, finishes at the same vertex, also known as a cycle. So again, the length of the path is the number of ages of the path. So three things you need to know, walk, trail, and path. Path, no ages, no vertices are repeated. Except when it is closed path, you go back to the same vertex. Right? Three things. Walk, the most general term. You can walk any direction, anywhere you like. It doesn't matter if you repeat or not. Trails. You cannot repeat the ages but you can repeat the vertices. Path, you cannot repeat anything at all. All right? Three things. Open, you start from one vertex and finish in the other. Close, you start from one vertex, you finish back in the same vertex. Can I move on now? Example. Now, the first one, A, B, C, A, it is a path, it is also a trail, it is also a walk, correct? Because I'm not repeating any ages, neither am I any repeating any uh, ver vertices except for A because I have, yeah. I've gone back to A. Alright, open path. So, open path, I went from A to B, B, C, B and E. Finish there. Close path or cycle. Again, it says close walk. I can go A, B, C, A. Alright? Or I could go A, B, C, D, E, and A. That's a close path. Yeah? Alright. Now, if I do this, A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to A. A to C. Is that a path? Is that a path? What have I done? I started from A. You repeated A and C. Yeah. yeah. So I repeated A. I ended up in C and C. Yeah, I, I, I repeated C, as well. C. So therefore, it is not. That is a trail. It's not a path. All right. So it's not. You could think of it like. Path, trail, and the whole thing is a uh, walk. Something like this. All right, let's go on. Now, this is a summary. It's a good one for you to have. I will uh, remind me if I have not printed it for you next week or by tomorrow. So. You can see that I have summarized it. A walk, it open walk, you start from vertex A and not vertex A. Alright? Close, you start from vertex A and back to vertex A. So it can be ages can be repeated, vertices can be repeated. Trail. Uh, you cannot repeat the ages at all. And a closed trail is called a circuit. Path, you cannot repeat the ages or the vertices. And the closed path is called a cycle. Yeah? Got it? It will take a while for you to get used to it for sure. You need to do uh, all the exercises from cloud. Now, ooh, I do have time to go to the strength of the diagram. So strength of the diagram, you can think about it as strongly connected or connected or weakly connected. So a strongly connected diagram or a directed graph is for every pair of vertices that exists a path from one vertex to the other. 
and the path back. They're strongly connected. Connected for every pair of vertices, there's at least one path connecting the vertices, even if a way back is not possible. I'll show you some examples in a few minutes. And weakly connected. If replacing all the directed edges by undirected edges, it produces a connected, uh, undirected network. Right? Very. Uh, I haven't really seen a lot of questions from here, but I do need to make all of you uh, aware of this track of a diagram. All right, let's have a look at this. So, could you go back? Oh, yep, yeah, sure, definitely. write this one down, you'll get it in your uh, lesson slides anyway. So all you need to know is strongly connected, connected, and weakly connected. So strongly connected, which means every uh, pair of vertices, there's a path from one and back. Whereas connected, there could be going there, but you can't come back at all. All right, like just like a one-way ticket. Weakly connected, uh, you, if you replace all the directed edges by undirected edges, it produces a connected, undirected network. Let's have a quick look at three examples. All right, if you look at the red one over there, or the red uh, or pink table over there, a strongly connected, uh, a strongly connected directed network. All right, a diagram. So we we'll, can see from vertices A B, path two, from A B, path two is from A A A to B. Path back. I can go from B to C, and C back to A. Right. That's one. That's one way. Then AC, I can go from A to B, B to C. And back, uh, I can go from uh, C back to A directly, and so on and so forth. All right, AD, directly AD, path from A to D, path back, D to A. Because that's direction, you can go both ways. Whereas this one, you can go one way, right? You can go A to B. C and then from C to come to come back to A is that one. B C one way path to B C and then going back C to A to B and then B D there are two ways D B uh, whereas C D C D I can go from C A and D C, A, and D. And then from uh, D to C, D, B, and C. So the length path A to B, that's one. All right, if you talk about the path, uh, the length path back is uh, from B. I've got to go here and there. That's two. All right, if you talk about the length. Whereas in this case, a connected, everything is connected. However, from A to B, I can go from A to B, here, A to B, and B back to A. Yeah? A to C, can I go from A to C? Not really. I can go from A to B, but C, there's a direction there. B cannot go to C. That's none at all. Yeah? Got it? Whereas, I can go C to A. Yeah, that's a direction from C to A. Yes? C to A, I can do that. Correct? Yeah? A, D, I can go and D, A, that's fine. A, D, and D, A. B, C, B to C, can, can I go from B to C? No, because that's a direction. This time, I've swapped the direction. The direction is that you cannot go from B to C, whereas you can go from C to A to B. C to A to B, all right? B, D, yeah, no problems at all. C to D, can I go C to D? Yep, that way I can go C, B, 
A D as well. So there are plenty of wave flow from C to C to D. B D, yep, B D and D B. Alright? So C to D, I can go from C to B to D or C B A D. C B A D. Whereas can I go back from uh, D to C? I can go from D to A, A to B, but I cannot go back to C. D to B, B cannot go back to C. D to A, so there's no way of going back from us uh, from D back to D back to C. Yeah? Whereas here, there's directed graph. There's no connection between A and B. There's no connection with uh, there's connection between A and C, but there's no way that I could go. Alright? But I can go C A. Alright? A and B there's none. A and D, I can't go, but D and A yes. B C I can't go, but C B yes. And so and B D. Uh, can I go? No. D B yes, I can go from D to no I can't because that's a direction, none. And C D none at all. Or D C. Alright? So that is weakly connected graph and they're strongly connected and connected. So you can see that every path there, there's a path back. Whereas this one, there are some that you cannot go back. Here there are lots of, uh, lots of paths that you can go or you can't go back at all. All right, I'm gonna stop here today. That's all I have for you. Uh, please remember, you really need to know, understand these three terms. Walk, trail and path. And what is a closed walk? Closed trail and closed path. We'll be using this a little bit later.